Thursday show. It's great to have uh, uh, Tommy Whitehead with us. Uh, Clementine Hunter's uh, murals will be on display at the new museum in Natchitoches. And uh, 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 opening reception coming up on Saturday. Correct. It'll be so Saturday it'll be afternoon. Big deal Saturday. Saturday Tommy, afternoon welcome from to the show. 3 to 7. And the lieutenant governor is going to host it. Yeah. And it's the beginning of a one year visit to the museum in Natchitoches, or we say the murals come to town for a year. <laughs> That's They're doing fun. restoration work at Melrose. They've taken the roof off the African house mm -hmm. to do restoration, so the murals are safely stored in Natchitoches. When did she die? She died January 1st, 1988. Did the, you know her personally? I knew her very well. I knew did her for you? the last 20 years of her life, yeah. and amazingly, she died at age 101. Wow. And, and she, she was very old. I didn't realize that at all. She was that old, and she yeah. was painting. She died January 1st. She was painting in November the year before. Incredible. It's an amazing person. What can we expect to, to see when we go to the museum? A very special treat. The African House murals were done in 1955, mm -hmm. and they had been in Melrose upstairs forever, and time had taken a toll, moisture, various things. So mm -hmm. they went to Houston, or a generous donation by a family in El Dorado, Arkansas, the Nolan family. They spent a year over there and they're back for the first time and they're amazing. I was in the building yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all like the day they were painted. They're bright, wow. they're clean, there are no mm -hmm. bugs or spiders on them. Mm -hmm. It is a real treat. If you've seen the murals before, you haven't seen them like this. Oh, hmm. That's gonna be wonderful. Now to get into the museum, what is the admission fee? It's free on Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Then it's open from Tuesday to Saturdays and Sunday afternoon also. But on the weekdays, it's $5 for adults, $4 for senior citizens and military types, and mm -hmm. kids under 12, it's always free. What, is there a curator available to talk about the paintings, or does it walk through yourself? There are several people. There's a curator on staff, and there's also a TIC, a Tourist Information Counselor, <laughs> or whatever, but TIC. He also does tours. And, have you written books? I have, I have co-authored two books, okay. one on the murals themselves mm -hmm. and then one on her life, a biography. Mm -hmm. What makes her special, her artwork special? She right. was an amazing person to think that she didn't start painting until she was 50 years old, mm -hmm. about 1939, and okay. then she captured what life was like on a plantation from an insider's perspective. Right. Now think about this, the people that worked on a plantation Few could write or read or had access to cameras. Here's some images of some of the, uh, the yeah, we got looking right at pictures. I love that. Yes, yeah, and uh, those are the murals. Mm -hmm. And she captured what it was like. You know, I would think nothing in the world would be harder than picking cotton. She always said, picking cotton is easier than painting pictures. <laughs> So, you know, they're, they're, it's an amazing insider's perspective these murals capture. Let's talk about some of the paintings, uh, you know, just the names. You've got the wedding, you've got cotton picking, you have burials. Harvest have, time, yeah. What else? Well, and by the way, these are all captured in vignettes in the murals. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful. Uh, we're looking now at a wedding scene, and yeah. we're looking at a hoe in cotton. Mm -hmm. right. There's funerals, baptizing, wakes, Saturday night at the honky tonk, yeah. wash <laughs> days. Or just yeah. a, and they're very detailed. You yes. Know, so you can just stand there and really watch and imagine what was Life, it, what life through her mind, and, and you can also see her perspective on how important a person was. The larger the person is, the more important. Mm -hmm. For example, in the wedding, the preacher is always the smallest person. Really? <laughs> she didn't think much of preachers. Really? <laughs> but the bride is huge, and uh -huh. I have seen her paint women that, that they were horrified they were so big when their husband or somebody was small. <laughs> but that meant a great deal. It yes. meant it meant to her. The yes. size was important. What mm -hmm. are some of those other secrets or other things that we might not know? Well, she first of all painted these murals in two in two months. Mm -hmm. She started on around June the third, nineteen fifty-five. She mm -hmm. finished him on July the twenty-first, hmm. and there are nine panels. So it's wow. an amazing job, just yeah. the time to take to paint these. Mm -hmm. And she always took a pencil and drew. Mm -hmm. She called it marking first, mm -hmm. then she'd paint. Mm. And she produced in a short period of time thousands, thousands. No thousands one knows. Paintings. She didn't it's keep amazing. any records, yeah. and I don't know if you should say this on television, but <laughs> she didn't keep any records. Mm -hmm. So the IRS didn't exactly know how many she sold. So nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. there well, were, what was she selling them for back then? And well, worth so much yeah, now. So much more it now. started off for fifty cents, probably. Wow. And by the time she died, to my knowledge, she was selling them for about four hundred dollars a piece. Good gracious! And now they're worth many thousands, thousands, yeah, and thousands. Does dollars. anybody in this modern day? now our artwork compared to Clementine Hunter? Not, I don't think in the Southern perspective. Mm -hmm. There are other folk artists. Grandma Moses is a mm -hmm. little different genre. Someone showed Grandma Moses painting to Clementine. She looked at it and couldn't understand all those snow-covered villages. Mm -hmm. There was never snow long yeah. on the ground at Melrose. Mm -hmm. It has to be an under, it had to be within her to paint a picture. She always said she couldn't look at anything and paint it. It had to come in her mind. Oh, hmm. interesting. Yes. Is it Clementine? Clementine. Clementine. She called herself Clementine. Okay. okay. Yeah. The, the, the uh, 
uh, the reception begins at what time? Saturday? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Saturday afternoon. To, yeah. It's a great opportunity. Um, and the environment, the exhibit space is beautiful. It's dark and it's got light correctly. It's mm -hmm. a really a nice experience. And it will be there for a year. Uh, more or less a year, probably That's next. Fabulous. I'd go. I wouldn't wait till March to go. I'd go before <laughs> March of next year. They're yeah. coming down sometime March. Right. right. Check it out. Go to Natchitoches. Yeah, it and out. it's right That's on the always front an opportunity right. to come yeah. to Natchitoches, and this is even more of an opportunity. Yeah. And that building is fabulous. It is it's the wonderful. only copper-clad building in this part of the world. That's interesting. interesting. Tommy, thanks for coming. Thank you. Great information. More to come. Daniel Williams joins us in just a minute. Stay here. Yes.